Hey guys, it's Daisy Dolls. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this saddle for select horses. So this tutorial is a little harder and I would recommend for more experienced select crafters, but I'm in no way stopping you from trying. So the materials you'll need for this tutorial will be You want to start off by cutting off a small piece of a soda can and then trace a saddle tree like shape on it and then cut it out and it should look like this then glue the saddle tree to the wrong side of a piece of leather and then roughly cut it out just like this now you want to cut small cuts all around um, the leather around the saddle tree so we can easily fold it over and glue it down Then when you have glued all of the flaps down, it should look something like this. Now you want to cut two saddle flaps and glue them onto the saddle on each side. Make sure to have a horse handy so you can always check and see how the saddle fits. This is kind of difficult to explain, but you want to mark uh, just where the saddle flaps kind of um, bend and then two marks where the saddle stops on the top there and then trace it out like this and then fill it in with a hot glue gun like this and be really careful because the metal gets really hot and then cut that out then make a second one like this now you want to glue the hot glue part onto the wrong side of your piece of leather and then roughly cut it out just like we did with the saddle tree then make small cuts all around the edges and then glue all those little flaps in place and it should look like this and repeat on the other one now you want to glue a little saddle pillow thing onto the underside of the saddle like this now take a small piece of leather and fold it in half and then cut this kind of shape and then glue that onto the saddle then take a bigger piece and glue it over the little thing we just glued on. And then cut and glue the excess. Then I'm using this little rolly thing to make little stitch marks so it looks like it has been sewn. And then repeat that on the other side. So now we're going to make the stirrups. So you want to start by making this little hook and then bending it over and make sure it's the size of your rider's foot, obviously. Um, so yeah, and then you want to take it and drag it over to the hook and then loop it through the hook and then back down and then cut off the excess. Now you want to cut a medium sized strap and put the stirrup on it. Then glue the strap together uh, on the top like this, and it should end up looking like this. And then repeat that to make two. Now you want to glue the strap with the stirrup onto the saddle like this. And now you want to cut out this kind of shape, and glue it over the stirrup. And then take that long piece and glue it in between the little saddle pillows, or whatever they're called. And then as always, repeat on the other side. And then because my leather is not black on each side, I like to color in um, the non-black side. And then I'm adding in a small little stirrup strap holder thing. Now you want to cut two pretty thick straps, and I'm cutting these from thicker leather. And glue it onto the underside of the saddle like this. And then repeat on the other side. Now we're going to start on the girth. So you want to take two long pieces of leather and just lay them on top of each other and make sure they're wrong side to wrong side. Then trace out this kind of shape on it. Then holding both of the leather pieces in place, cut it out. And you should end up with two identical girth shapes. So now we're going to make the uh, buckle for the girth, so you want to start by making a rectangle. And 
and then correcting and straightening along the way and then make another rectangle um, like this and flattening and straightening and you're done then take a small piece of leather like this and loop it on the buckle and do that three more times now you want to take one of the girth pieces and cut a little slit on the top of it. Then put uh, the buckle with leather um, through the little slit. And you should have two on both sides. Now make a small ring like this. And then glue on a small piece of leather like this. Then cut a small slit in the middle of the girth and take it through just like we did with the buckles. Now take your other identical piece and glue it onto the buckled piece. And I'm using the little rolly thing again to make some stitch marks. And we are finally done! So that was it for this style tutorial. I really really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know a lot of you guys have been requesting it really wanting a new style tutorial so yeah i hope you were pleased with this video and uh yeah so i actually have done like i think three or four i think three other style tutorials but it's because my tack always improves more and more almost for like every single week i would say so it's difficult to keep up but i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and thank you guys so so much for 5,000 subscribers i am so amazed at yeah everything i'm <laughs> it's unbelievable so thank you guys so so much and don't forget to leave a like and i'll see you next time bye